We're back here on the GLVC Sports Network once again. With me today for the post interview, Sarah Spalding. Amazing three matches you've had so far. This said 96 total assists so far in three matches to 32 assists per match, Sarah. You're the assisting machine out there for Sabon and for Hegwa and all them. How do you do it? And uh, what's the kind of way you get into the matches, especially in these three uh, oh wins you guys had today? Um, I think a lot of it is just trust in my hitters. Like, you know, we practice that all the time, practice connections. And I uh, trust that if I give them a good ball, that they're going to put it away. So I really think, like, if we get a good pass, we can run our offense, they're going to put it down. All right. You beat one team from Minnesota today, 3-0. But next up, number 21 in the nation, Minnesota Duluth, who are up 2-0 right now on Grand Valley State at last check. What are you guys going to do with, until 3 o'clock to prepare for them? And what's your mindset going into that game? I think we're going to focus a lot on the things that we can control, like our energy and our like focus. So we can't control what they're doing. You know, If they play well, that's okay. Like We need to control what we can. Our energy and like building the good energy around us, I think, is what we're going to focus on. We're back here on the GLVC Sports Network once again with Coach Reed. Coach Reed, another big win, 3-0 now in the Invitational, but a big game coming up against Minnesota Duluth. We kind of talked about yesterday, but as it's a new day, as you said yesterday, so what's the mindset now? Well, uh, I thought when we did a really nice job of having an emotional match last night where it's long, it's physically demanding, and we showed up this morning and we kind of took it to them. And so for that to happen takes a lot of kind of emotional intelligence like we really reset well today and it's kind of the same thing moving into the next match um the opponent doesn't matter you know what i mean um we want to be able to put out the best product that we are capable of doing regardless of who's on the other side and and, and treat them the same way because that's the the right thing to do and, and we're worried about us getting a little bit better and and um our our good's pretty good you know and so um whatever is going to happen with duluth is going to happen Another big day on the attack for the Greyhounds. So Boaten again with a great day. Hegwood with a great day. Colson with a great day. And as we saw earlier, Sarah Spalding with a good day on the assist side. Uh, how's that offense coming along? As well as your defensive side with Barnhart. Is the team finally starting to gel together to get ready for that conference play? Yeah, it's, it's going really well. Um, we're, we're relatively balanced. And, you know, volleyball is such a the team sport that in order for us to have a good offensive production, we got to have good passing. And in order to have good defense, we have to have good serving. And so, like, all these little pieces are kind of put together. Uh, none of these hitters are going to have kills without assists. And so, um, you know, you mentioned Sarah, but Alex is doing a really nice job, and she had a good match today. And um, she had some really nice serves and, and is, is doing a really nice job on defense. And so it's all interconnected, and, and GLVC um, – you know, the little bit that I've looked, it looks like they're kicking butt across the country, and that's great. We're happy for the conference. But right now, that's a two weeks from now problem. And so we want to stay focused on today, uh, be where our feet at. We'll take a little break, and then we'll get back to work against Duluth later today.